G'day everybody. Well, time to do a bit more troubleshooting on Rusty, the Emac. The reason I call it Rusty is because the back end's discoloured slightly. Looks almost like it's rusted a bit. But, um, yeah, it does do an interesting thing when you put power to it now that I've actually, um, it's got a different monitor and board. It's not the factory, uh, settings on it, basically. And, um, it, uh, yeah, when you plug it in, the CRT will power it up. You can hear the, uh, the high pitch from it but the power button still isn't responding, so it might just be the case of uh, pump that full of contact cleaner or something when I can get some and just see whether that works or not. But, uh, other than that, I still have no idea why it's not working. But, um, anyway, I'll get on its front and take its cover off and just have another look. Well, Rusty's looking a little bit more exposed now that I've got its cover off, which is uh, over here, very dusty. Um, there is a bit of a story to the way I actually um, have this now, and it's uh, basically what happened is I found two Emacs over the period of two years. Uh, first one, of the oldest one that I had, had a um, burnt out metal oxide varistor MOV, which is this thing here. But on the other one it had blown itself to pieces, there were little bits of uh, the ceramic casing all over the... Uh, the insides of it possibly causing shorts and the other uh, rest of the CRT and everything stopped not working but um, it had a good memory bank and computer board which is all of this down here that's all the other uh, computer side well that's the uh, the CRT up here and basically what I did is I pulled both the parts I found another one last year pulled the pair of them apart and I did do a video on doing it but uh, stupidly deleted it so apologies on that, but yeah, got them both apart and then put together a um, one that had all of the uh, correct parts that were um, that looked the cleanest and also worked. And yeah, unfortunately, it was a bit of a waste of time because this bloody thing still doesn't work. But um, I have gotten somewhere with it for the fact that the CRT powers up. You can hear it's getting EHT from the flyback. So I don't think it's a problem up here anymore. It's just the fact that it's not responding to any um, signals you put into it. And also the power button's not doing anything to it either. Now I'm charging, if I haven't stated that. But uh, yeah, there's a power button there, which it may just need to be um, pumped full of contact cleaner. It may just be a bit dirty. Although, unfortunately, you can't actually take it apart and uh, clean it because it's sort of moulded into the um, outer housing, which is a bit of a bummer. But anyway, another um, possible thing could be the main power transistor on this thing. I know they have um, been problems for other EMAC users in the past, but my problem is I have no idea which... Um, one of these is the power transistor because there's two down there there's a really big one there which could be it there's another really big one down inside there on the other side of this heat sink which you may just be able to see yeah it's right down there there's another two what look like smaller ones under this heat sink here and there's same on the other side I'm not sure if, uh, guessing these ones are probably for um, the vertical and horizontal sweep for the deflection yoke, which is in here. In fact, I actually have the uh, yoke out of one of these. This one out of the old EMAC. Um, that seemed to work fine. I actually did a uh, power test on it to see, because another thing that can go wrong is if this goes open circuit by some chance, it won't actually... Uh, run the CRT. Never actually seen that happen with AR television or anything. That is CRT, but it is a possibility. But that tested up fine. That's possibly a good spare part, although it would involve having to retune this whole thing if I had to have uh, replaced that. But yeah, it's um, I just have no idea at the moment. I've got yeah a few theories. Maybe that power transistor in there, if I can get it out. Although the real bummer with this thing is the fact that I'll have to uh, probably pull a CRT out, um, very carefully disconnect all of these grounding uh, cables that go all the way over it, pull a whole lot out and then very carefully get this board out, involving taking the front off, push that all forward, 
get this board out and then I may be able to uh, get some of these uh, MOSFETs and transistors and things but the bottom side here as far as I can tell is perfectly fine there's plenty of memory in its bank um, yeah I'm running out again I don't know if this thing's actually working or not even though it is plugged in but um, yeah same old question, if anybody's got any other theories on why this thing isn't working, uh, feel free to leave a comment, and thanks for watching. It's going to be a very slow one getting this thing working.